Hey everybody, welcome back. Stonebroke Adventure Solar Play sent us this nice product to do some testing on. It is the 2500 watt solar power generator. Also, the kit came with a 400 watt solar panel. You can purchase the two products separately or you can purchase them in the kit. We do have links down below if you're interested after you watch the video. We're going to do some capacity testing on this to see what the actual usable watt hours are on this solar generator. This solar generator claims uh, 2,304 watt hours of capacity on that. So what they have in here is essentially a 50 amp hour 48 volt battery with the inverter with the solar charge controller everything is self-contained first thing we want to do we're going to quickly go over the specifications of this unit then we're going to run some tests on it we're going to double check to make sure that this is a pure sine wave inverter coming out of the ac side of this so let's bring it in close let's talk about the specs so the solar generator is going to come with your user manual it's going to come with your AC charging port. It's also gonna come with your XT90 uh, solar panel connectors. We'll show you where those attack. The unit itself weighs about 48 pounds, right? So you can definitely move it around. One person can carry it around, has the nice handles on the top that makes it easy and poor. Here we have our dual pass-through cooling ducts and put, and then they come out on the outside those are turned on when this thing's running at a really high load just to keep everything cool we do have a 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter outlet and we have a xt60 12 volt xt60 outlet we have two 55 21 12 volt outlets those are three amp uh, capacity outlets we have two 18 watt usb outlets we have three USB-C outlets rated at 20 watts, and we have a USB-C at 100 watts. We have our power button right here. We can hold the power button, and that should turn right on. Right, You can see a nice, clear display on that. Let's go ahead and do the, always the fun reveal, nice protective screen cover on that. We can actually set the maximum input with this button just by pressing the button, 1100 watts. We can set down, down all the way down to 300, 500, 700, 900, and 1100 watts. So we can set that manually. Each unit, we have the USB-C, the 12 volt system. We have an on off power button. That way we're not drawing any power if we're not using it. We also have a nice little LED light here. LED lights, always great. When the power goes out, we can turn that on does have a blinking mode, little SOS mode, and we can turn that off. You can see here on the display, it's going to tell us if we have the USB uh, circuit on, if we have the AC circuit on, which it's on, and also if you have your 12 volt circuit over here on. It just has that really nice clean display. There's the cigarette lighter down there telling us that that little outlet is on. It's a real nice feature, nice, clean, clear, bright display. We have a power on off switch. This controls the power on off for the AC side of the system. And it also has a little circuit breaker here in case you unintentionally overload the circuit. 2,500 watt capacity combined on all of these. So 20, about 20 amp capacity, not individually, but combined coming out of the AC side of that. And then we have the XT90 port. 500 watt maximum input on the XT90 port and this is where we're going to plug our XT90 connector to our MC4 solar connectors right and that's where we're going to plug in our solar panel it has a built-in MPPT charge controller it does come with our AC uh, input plug this is a UPS power supply uninterrupted power supply it is a pass-through so when this is plugged into the outlet and we have uh, shore power, line power coming into this unit, it's a complete pass through to the AC outlets. If for any reason the power goes off, I believe it's a 20 millisecond uh, delay. If this unplugs or the power goes out, it's going to switch right over to the battery seamlessly. So that's what that uninterrupted power supply UPS means.
This is our solar panel with the kit. It's the 400 watt monocrystalline solar panel. You can get in close here, see all the specifications on this. We'll bring this outside, set it up, plug it in. Okay, we have our handheld oscilloscope here. We have a step down transformer, that way we don't burn out the oscilloscope. We're gonna make sure that this is a pure sine wave inverter in the power station. All I need to do is clip this little alligator clip here. And you can see here, look at that. Nice, clean, pure sine wave. And that's exactly what we're looking for. All right, this is our watt hour test meter. But if we come in close, we can see here that this unit is running at 111 volts when it's battery operated only. And we are at 60 Hertz. We're gonna go ahead and check the ground neutral bond on this. You can see here, we got 111 volts. So the meter is reading correctly. And we're gonna come down here to our ground and we're reading 43 volts, right? That's just a little phantom voltage on that. That means it is an unbonded neutral ground. So the neutral and ground are not bonded together. We can prove that again if we turn the unit off and we can check and we can check for continuity between the neutral and the ground. So we have no continuity between neutral and ground. So it is a floating neutral. We're gonna check the maximum watt hours on this, the actual usable AC capacity of this. That'll tell us how efficient the inverter is in this unit. So we can go ahead and turn this on now. And we're drawing 12 amps. That'll go up a little bit as the resistance, the heat increases. So let's go ahead and check the accuracy of our display here. It looks like there's just a little bit of a lag time on our display. We're at 1,127 watts. And it's saying here, yeah, they're starting to catch up 1,132. So a little bit of a delay between the two, but this is probably reading wattage uh, before the inversion. So it is accurate. It says we have about two hours of runtime at this load. So we'll come back when this test is done. All right, let's look here. We got 1% left on the test right there. And we're at 1930 watt hours we're gonna let this run down to zero and then we'll shut it off and do some math so the test is complete it did shut down the ac output when it got down to zero percent just to protect the battery and we got 1950 watt hours out of this unit it calls for 2,304, so that's an 85% efficiency. Remember, you're gonna have losses in the inverter, uh, in the battery system, just the whole thing, you're gonna have these losses. So an 85% uh, efficiency rating on a unit like, like this is pretty standard. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this thing outside and show you just a practical application with this system. Let's take an up close look at the 400 watt solar panel. Real nice looking monocrystalline portable solar panel. We've got the little grommets on all four corners. One, two, we come over here, three and four. And if we look back here on the back, right, nice carry handle. And then we have the props, nice props, fold up nice and neat, but you can see the perfect angle on that. You can see here our setup, and this is our camper setup. We actually use this during hurricane season. If the power goes out, we just kind of come out here, stay. We have a little air conditioner. We have our portable refrigerator, keep everything cold, right? We can go ahead, plug that refrigerator in right here. You can see here, the solar panels are working real low wattage right now, but you can see just a super cloudy day but they are working and we can go ahead and plug in our AC outlet right there. You can see that's where our solar panels are plugged in. Yeah, the solar panels are definitely working. Still a little cloudy, but as the sun comes out more and more, and these uh, solar panels really start working good. We're getting up to close to 300 watts right now uh, on a cloudy day. So they're definitely working. Just a nice setup. Let's go ahead and turn the AC on, uh, prove that this thing will support this air conditioned space with the refrigerator. So you can see here, we have the refrigerator running right now. If you can hear this, the air conditioner is running. 
it actually shows our watt input. Right, we only got 49 watts because it's super cloudy out right now. But the output is 385 watts. This thing is totally supporting our system. It has the nice carry handles, 48 pounds. You can move it around. You can put this in the bed of a pickup truck. Um, just a real nice portable solar generator. The inversion loss on that uh, is within range, pretty standard, 85% efficiency on the inverter. So that's the 2,500 watt solar plate. Definitely meets our needs, supports our little camper right here. Super portable. We got the refrigerator and over here, we got the 400 watt solar panel that's charging this up. Everything is all self-contained. We're definitely happy with it. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.